All right. This is my uh, compilation for CodeCool.net for the contest competition. And I'm going to work on uh, VB Maps uh, using the Google Maps uh, framework that is provided by us in very easy steps. You're going to love this tutorial. So, we're going to start with the form. And I'm going to add a split container uh, to make the form look really nice split container and here I find it and we're gonna s move the split container and ma make it instead of uh, vertical we're gonna make it horizontal just let me find that okay orientation horizontal put in the first container uh, four text boxes as following um, text box text box and here it goes so our first text box is going to be the street I'm gonna get labels in a second I'm gonna put the text boxes first okay then I'm going to get a label and I'm gonna move the label over here so let me change the text for this. This is uh, street, and this is um, uh, state. And this is. zip code so what else and I forgot city right there let me move this a little down so city street city and zip code let me change the text for this so we got our text boxes ready now we need a command button so we're gonna search for button we're gonna put it here and we're gonna put search map make the button lo looks just a little better search map right there okay and we're gonna draw up a web browser right here in the down part of the container so what are we gonna do let's double click on this and go to the source code where all the magic happens and let's import in the beginning before everything the library that we're going to need which is the system.txt okay so let me rename these just so I can know what I'm working on and let's make this text street and this is text city and this is text state which is kinda obvious but just for clearance in the code so everything looks clear for everyone and dxt zip code perfect let's jump back to the code and inside this we're going to make a try catch statement and in the catch of the exception what are we gonna do we're gonna handle the exception as following message box the show um, ex dot message and dot to string and we're gonna concatenate with that uh, enable. 
sorry about that. We're gonna put the title uh unable to get map. So that's so good so far. Now for the basics we need the variable for street demonstrate a string and we need to fill that string with an empty string string dot empty and we're gonna need a variable for city as string equals string dot empty and a variable for state and we need a variable for zip as so we set our variables and we need a variable for the query that's gonna parse to the web browser so let's name that query address a peaceful little um, query as new um, string that's why we imported um, the string builder that's why we imported the library over there so everything is going fine everything is pretty it's just declaring variable nothing so tricky till now so query address the variable that we declared uh, dot append um, this little string right there this one that we can see on uh, when we go to google maps maps dot google dot com backslash maps question mark q equals so this is the part where the query starts and we give it a standard so we can build on it so this is right here right now we're gonna build the street part of the query till now everything looks very easy there's nothing tricky about it so if txt um, street dot text uh, is not a, a string dot empty so what do we do if the string uh, was not empty then um, we take street and we put text street in it and we replace We replace the empty string, uh, the spaces with a plus sign because, of course, you know that URLs does not have, you know, uh, spaces usually. So, and we give the query address dot append um, street um, plus a column and another plus so basically that's the first idea this is how it's gonna go from here so I'm gonna copy this and paste it and just change on it so I can speed up the process a little bit 